Hey, good evening. It's Dave the Bug Guy, and I have not shot a video in a long time, and uh, I got a little gift today. I shouldn't say a gift. I bought this. Uh, it is my Chinese praying mantis egg cases, and uh, every year I get, yeah, normally about a dozen of them, because what I end up doing is uh, giving to the kids and uh, neighbors, everybody to, thinks they're so cool. Obviously, yeah. When they hatch, and you have all these baby mantids. But uh, let me just show you. Uh, I get them from We Got Bugs. It's a great company out of Pennsylvania. I think this is about my third third time I've ordered from them. I, I ordered four this time. They do such a great job in the packaging. The mantid there. They say, uh, you know, leave in the mailbox. But uh, this is what you get. It's nice. They, uh, do the old hatching instructions right here. You also receive a, uh, this is a, a hatching bag. So you put your uh, Uthika inside here, and then when they hatch, you, know, you can take this outside. Uh, well, or actually, the, what I do, what I use this for is put the Uthika, put this outside, they hatch, then I can kind of put them all around the garden wherever I want to. But uh, you also get you know, some other directions you receive, but uh, this is what uh, this is what they look like. I bought four. I think they were about twelve bucks. They're nice ones, nice big ones. Like I said, this is a Chinese uh, praying mantis, and uh, what you want to do, as you'll notice, that is where the babies come out of this surface so you always want to hang it so that part is facing downward and what I like to do is um, I use these deli containers they work great and what I like to do is just uh, I take a piece of paper towel about this big just put it on the bottom of the cup and the reason for the paper towel is this is going to retain your moisture. So what I'll do is I'll just spray it. I mean, don't soak it because you don't want it to be all soaking wet. But just spray it. And uh, there's no holes in, in this. But then I, and for the lid, I just, you know, poke a, some small holes. Just use a nail or a screw. And then what I do is uh, get some, most of the time, as you'll see, because what the what happens is the cha the the praying mantis goes up on a stick and lays this substance and it's not hard when it comes out it's like uh, I don't know kind of like uh, like a foam is probably the best way to describe it and then it just hardens up but what I like to do is I just take a a piece of wire stick it inside that little stick and it just hangs like this works great and then you can go hanging in a tree but what I like to do um I'll do some outside but I like to do a couple inside because you have a more control of the situation because these can hatch outside and a bird sees it the bird will go right up to them and sit there and eat every single one of them so uh then I simply just hangs like this That's it. I mean, then I, you just put this, you know, I, you want to put it, you know, room temperature, they'll hatch. Uh, you could raise the temperature. I used to put it on top of my chameleon cage. Uh, right now I, I'm starting seeds, you know, from my garden, flowers and vegetables and so forth. And I use a heat mat. So I, you know, you can place those this on top of there it'll just speed the process up but uh we just got a snowstorm and it's april 10th it was getting beautiful out you know the, the uh, trees are starting to bud robins are back my tulips are coming up and then the snow hits but it shouldn't last long so i've been just kind of contemplating i think i might wait a couple more days although i do have a, a buddy down the street who has um raises fruit flies for his dart frog. So I could get a hold of those because you don't want to hatch these too early 
because you'll probably get 50 to 100 babies out of here. And uh, yeah, that's a lot of mouse to feed, and they only eat live insects. So ideally, you got to wait till you have live insects outside, you know, gnats and all the little bugs in the grass. So, hey, if you have, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm putting together a little PDF uh, so you can just download the instructions on how to do this. Uh, so I, I probably won't have it for about another week, but it'll be below in the description. But uh, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment and a like, uh, you know, and make it a great day.